here is a recipe that I have been long waiting for to put on my blog. This is for baked pork riblets that usually takes more than three and a half hours in oven to cook. This recipe takes a total time of 60 minutes with 20 minutes of preparation and 40 minutes of cooking. So to start off, uh, tenderize the ribs with lemon juice and salt. And I'm going to marinate it with uh, yogurt, ginger, garlic, green chili and allspice. So put all these in the yogurt and mix it well. Marinate uh, riblets with this uh, marination and leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes. So when I set preparation time, it is 10 minutes for tenderizing uh, the meat and maybe 10 to 15 minutes for marination. So once these uh, are uh, ready, you can just put the uh, ribs the marinated ribs on uh, to the heated oil in the pressure cooker uh, this yogurt has a lot of water in it and all the juices from the pork itself will help it cook fast and will give out all the juices that can also be later used uh, to put it on top of the baby potatoes that i'm going to also show you in the recipe so here we are uh, putting some uh, black uh, pepper corn and bay leaf just to give it a nice flavor uh, into the oil and then place the uh, ribs marinated ribs into the cooker you don't need to put any water because all the uh, water released by yogurt will help it cook so once you place the ribs close the lid of the pressure cooker and leave it on for 20 to 25 minutes on low heat the steam inside will make the meat really tender and it will fall off the bones. It will be so nice and uh, uh, well cooked. So release the pressure of the uh, pressure cooker before you open the lid. Uh, place the uh, ribs onto the foil tray. Uh, now we are ready for the oven. Oven, um, I preheated the oven uh, for it to be on the maximum heat with broil option. So these uh, ribs, uh, I'll uh, baste them now with the barbecue sauce. I like a bit sweet in the sauce, so I have put some sweet Thai sauce as well into the barbecue sauce. So we'll baste it on one side of the ribs and put it in for about five minutes in the oven um, on broil. Uh, Five minutes are good enough for uh, the flavors to seep in. And if you see, I've put a uh, dish below the dish uh, below the ribs uh, with the potatoes and the juices from the cooker so after five minutes remove the ribs out turn them around and baste on the other side and then put them back for another five minutes so you need to repeat this for about two to three times so a total of 15 minutes of oven time and maybe 20 25 minutes on the cooker so the total cooking time for this recipe is about 40 minutes out of which it's only 15 minutes in the oven. Usually the conventional recipe takes about three and a half hours of slow cooking in the oven which is using that much of electricity power. So this is a green recipe tasting really good very tender meat and the spices and the herb can be put as per your preference. I must also say that the potatoes uh, that have cooked in the juices in this same oven time also come out really well and they are really a good uh, side for the ribs. So enjoy this green recipe and let's try and make this world more greener by using alternate methods of cooking.